What's going on guys and today we have episode number 6 now of my Road to Glory series. You guys are loving the series so I'm so thankful uh, to you guys for that. But as you can see out of the players that we did sell because of the bronze pack method we sold two of them straight away. Um, that Triori and also that Bukani guy. Um, so we got rid of them. That was very nice profit because we did make 400 coins on the Triori and 200 coins on him. We then did sell a lot and I mean a lot of our Liga BVA players. Almost all of them um, apart from these four because these ones weren't really worth um, putting up. We just wanted this to discard them but um, I was going to wait till I did it on video to actually do that and as you can see we've got 8.7k so a lot of coins to build our next squad guys and our next squad is going to be a Serie A squad because of the tournament that's out the team of the season tournament when you're watching this the Serie A team of the season tournament has just ended but the next three episodes of this will include those um, as I've already pre-recorded the next three episodes guys so You'll see if we do get that team of the season, Sansone or whatever we get. And also, um, the League Un, which is the French League, that team of the season tournament should be coming out around 6pm, I believe, on, um, well, today, Monday. Whenever you're watching this, it would be the Monday, the 20... The 30th actually of uh, May it is now. So the 30th of May will be the League Un one. I'm going to try and win that team of the season as well. We're going to have to big out, uh, build a League Un squad for that, but... I am really willing to do that as long as we can pick up that team of the season card, guys. But as you can see, we did remove a lot of the players in the squad, putting in all um, the Serie A players that I wanted to kind of use in, the, in, in our team. These two I didn't really feel comfortable using as... Um, one, of them wasn't, one of them wasn't too good and the other one... The other one was okay, it was just... He didn't, he was a 75 rated cam, that's all you really need to know, he wasn't a quality quality player. So we wanted to get players in like Adair, um, cheap players, he's only 450 coins, remember we do have 8.7k in the budget. Um, so we can splash the cash a wee bit, so I was looking forward to buy, bringing in some quality players. And because of the packs that are out just now, um, like all the special Serie A, uh, Serie A packs, we can get players for a lot cheaper than they normally would be. 9 gold ones on the 1.4k, hint hint for another episode in the future guys, but... We're getting very, very good deals. This Churchy guy, 85 pace, 82 dribbling, 74 shooting and 77 passing. And he's only 750 coins. Absolute bargain. Um, and guys, do this for a league un. That's what I'm going to tell you. That is the tip of today's episode. Definitely go and try and pick some players up for a league un. They'll be so cheap. You'll be able to get a lot of them. Um, the majority of the players you'll be able to get for under 2k. So make sure to go do that. Players like Thiago Silva are roughly 7 8k. Very, very cheap, guys. So go pick them up. As you can see, we picked on Padoin um, in this left-back position. He's a decent-looking left-back. Can get some nice links because of his uh, because he has Italian and he connects with all the Juventus players as well. He gets some nice perfect links and some nice hyperlinks. We also went for trying to get a few right-backs. We didn't actually get the first two we wanted. We did eventually get Torresidis, um, the right-back from Roma, very very nice looking right back and I'm looking forward to hopefully running up the wings with him and crossing some balls and we then got Cranese a uh, 78 rated goalkeeper, he was the cheapest you could get for 400 coins so we decided to go ahead and get it, even though we did have a big budget, I didn't really want to spend that many coins on players so I did buy quite a few of kind of um, cheaper players, and as you can see we're just picking random players, coincidentally we did put a bid on Sansone there, who the player who we're trying to get the team of season card of uh, through this tournament, but if you bid 300 coins on 75 rated players, when you discard them, they'll discard for 300 coins. So you're not losing anything at all. Um, and you can use them. Let's say I bought a few guys for 300 coins. I can use them for a few games, make coins off using them, and then discard them for the same price I bought them for. So I'm just you're just guaranteed to make coins if you're using them. Um, so definitely try that out, guys. If you can get 76 rated, 77 rated players for 300 coins as well, you'll be making even more profit as they will discard for over 300. They'll discard for 304, 308. So if you keep doing that, you'll eventually be making thousands and thousands um, of coins using this method. We decided to build another squad though, just out of all the players um, that we're not using in our Serie A squad, we're going to put all the best players into one one team um, and see how much chemistry we can get. As you can see guys, we did not get a lot of chemistry, we did have that link with Yaya and De Michele's, also Gerard in there along with Catamo, but the chemistry was 50-60 odds, it wasn't great, so that was very, very annoying. As you can see, we sold Christensen and Juf and also Castro for 400 coins and Diego Alves for 900 coins as well. And that brought us up to 6,500 coins. Quite a lot now um, that we we could spend on players if we wanted to. We also picked up quite a few players for roughly 350 or 300 coins. Um, 
the 300 coin, this guy, who is a very, very, very good right back, um, we could we could easily sell him on for four or 500 coins. So hopefully we can do that later in the series. Unless I want to get a contract, then we'll probably just have to discard him, guys. And um, But we'll see how things go. So we stored all them in the club, the three of them, put them into the team. And that right and that uh, right back I was talking about will actually go straight into the team. We're going to swap him with Torresidis uh, as... He looks a bit better, his pace is a bit better, and I know I said I was looking forward to using Torresidis, but I found a better right back uh, for cheaper, so I might as well use him. As you can see, we just bid his 300 coins, 350 coins, and a few more of the players, just trying to get some players on that bench um, that we could, in fact, use. As you can see, we're going back onto the bench here, and the squad was was coming to a... Uh, it was almost complete. We put Renoki on the bench, and we just needed six more players, guys, uh, to complete it. We already had three in the club, and we're just going to go out and see how many more we had one here. And as you can see, guys, we did, in fact, win all three of them. Paul Lopez and Santon, we won all three of them, so I was happy with that, um, there were there were three quality players as well, it's not like they were bad, they they, they were good for their positions, um, quality centre mid, quality left back, quality CDM, so if we wanted to use them in this uh, series, in this tournament as well, we could do that, so it was a win-win situation, um, but we did need the league, uh, the Serie sorry, players in our squad, so we put them all in on the bench, and the team was looking very, very nice going into this tournament. As you will know, the team this season is out in this league. And there will be a lot of opponents who will have quality teams because of that. They will have some of the team of the seasons already. Um, so far this one, I have padded Bonaventura um, team of the season on different accounts. I've padded Matuidi from the league in one as well. So it's going quite well for me. But... That's my, that was my only worry going into these games. Are we going to come up against quality, quality opponents? You've seen it um, in the Liga BBVA tournament when we came up against teams that had Team of the Season Messi, Team of the Season Neymar, all these players, Team of the Season uh, All Black, Team of the Season Koki, and one team. So I was really, really worried that we to come up against another opponent like that as we wanted to make our record the best it could possibly be. And being in this tournament definitely doesn't help it, guys. So if you want to comment down below, should we keep continuing in this tournament or should we just kind of try and work our way down the divisions until we can get more coins and build better squads for the tournaments? It's completely up to you guys. Make sure to make a comment down below, guys, um, and that will help me out a lot. But as you can see, going into the game, he had a very decent squad. Those two pacey, pacey. Um, centre backs in Koulibaly and also Juan Jesus. He had a batty in Zuniga, making it very, very sweaty in the defence. He also had Nine Gold, who is an absolute tank in this game. If only about 1.5k or less, he is very, very, very cheap. As you can see, he did take the lead there with Quadrado in, um, I believe it was like the 14th minute. And yet again, we give away a stupid penalty. What can we do here? It's not physically possible for us to do anything else. The keeper dives in like that. It's not, we don't do it. The computer does it itself, the, the Xbox does it itself, and that is very, very annoying. FIFA this FIFA 16 just decides to decides to mess you over sometimes, and it gets very, very, very frustrating at times. As you can see, we were just falling apart after that great save, and just, it bounces right back to him, and he just heads in, and this guy wasn't even dominating me. That's the, that's the most annoying part of these sort of games. It just, it's the counter-attacks, I had to go all out attack just to try and get back in it. Really scruffy goal again, how he somehow got that in, I have no idea. We did restore hope though, I know we're 4-0 down, but we did get a goal with Cali on there to make it 4-1, um, and, and shed a bit of light on things, it gave us a bit of an opportunity in the game. Well that is until 9 goal went through in the 87th minute to finish the game off and end it 5-1 guys. And of course that is how the game did conclude, 5-1, very, very disappointing um, and that is exactly what we didn't want to happen. We didn't want to come up against a quality opponent. He was good. I don't feel yet again like I deserve to win 5-1. Um, the stats may not show that. He did quite a, have quite a lot of shots and stuff like that. But the the majority of them came from counter-attack. So I, was, I had most of the ball. That, that, that's how it felt like anyway uh, during the game. So that was a downside to it. But we had to kind of just get back on our feet progress and try and win the next game. As you can see, we went out and bought Hamseek. We just knew that this squad wasn't good enough um, to to win this tournament. So we went out and bought Hamseek, very, very quality player, for very, very cheap indeed. Only like 750, 850 coins, can't quite remember. We then went out and tried to buy, uh, buy ourselves a Benucci, and look how cheap he is for an 83 rated player. 850 coins for that rated player. We tried to get the one with, um, I think we got the one with 33 contract and 99 fitness in the end. Don't know why we just didn't go for him first because he was the best looking one there, but we eventually did go ahead and buy him and our squad was looking very, very good now. We felt more confident going into um, this game and we're very, very, 
we were really, really hoping that we could progress in this tournament. I want our first team of the season on this account. Even though he's untradeable, I still really, really want him, guys. And as you can see, what we didn't want to happen came true. He had another solid team. The team of the season, Icardi, in from Guarín. He also had Nagatomo, Juan Jesus, Miranda, Montoya, eh, Medel, and also in from Handanovic in goal. So very, very solid squad. And yeah, it was a whole uh, inter squad, I believe. So he did take the lead here, as you can see, going through with Perisic. Really bad defending from me, and he did bury that one into the top of the net. We did hold on for a while, though. That was till the 40th minute. And as you can see here, picking up the ball with Eder here, um, just running into the space we could find. That is what I seem to do at the moment in FIFA. If there's no room in, around me, I just run into the space that's free, try and rebuild from there, um, and then try and go ahead and get the goal. As you can see, it was a great uh, header from Hamseek, and then he did pull a great ball through to Eder a few minutes later. Later, who got the second of the game for us and for some weird reason the guy did in fact rage quit guys and we went straight into the next game this was the second game of the tournament it was the quarter final and yet again he had a decent looking team the two strikers of Mandzukic and Baka and um, quality strike force up there you've got a bit of pace in Baka and you have of course that height and herring ability uh, with Mandzukic which I was slightly worried about as you can see it took to the 65th minute for anything big to happen in this game and that was when Monto uh, Montalivo sorry, went through on goal and a great finish from him in the 84th minute there was uh, Jonathan de Guzman turning inside whipping the ball in and there was Mandzukic the one man we were trying to close down the whole game and we had done it until the 85th minute he got the goal with him and at that point it was looking rather grim until this happened right from kickoff as you can see i believe it's montalivo and um, no it's calion sorry great ball through to adair he somehow gets through those two defenders in that tight space and, hit, and uh, finishes that one home to give us the 2-1 victory in this game and that is in fact how it ends bad job from adair there to end the game but we did get the win nevertheless so we're very happy with that guys this is going to be the end of the video hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far it's already episode six We've roughly got about um, 10k if we sold everything, so we're doing very, very well. 5.7k in the in, in the bad guys. I've already recorded the next two episodes, so I wouldn't, I'm not going to ask you what should I do for them, obviously, because I've already recorded them. You'll see some exciting things happen while we get our team of the season, Sandstone. Make sure to find out in the next coming episodes, guys. They should be out uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to, uh, to smash the like button. Subscribe, guys, as well, if you're new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.